food in our day-to-day -day life in everything. Of course, we may be concerned that our jobs will be replaced, but we don't know what will happen. Our distinguished chief guest may say as uh, industry guru, because we sometimes don't know what type of jobs the industry will need in future. Their qualification we don't know, their job profile we don't know. What jobs will come in future, okay? They will be totally different types of jobs, probably which even the industry doesn't know right now what job profiles will come, okay? So the challenges are you have to be updated to latest things through events like this, through conferences like this, through talks like this, by interacting with peers, get to know what is happening latest in computing electronics. Now, everybody is talking about IoT, okay? Smart cities, okay? You will have smart parking, smart governance, smart pollution control, smart buildings, smart disaster management, okay? There is a state in US, they say they will put a sensor in the building, monitor the vibration. If the vibration exceeds the threshold, they will say earthquake is likely to strike. You can predict floods, you can predict tsunami, do all that thing to wireless technology sensors and all that thing, sensor networks. So IoT is going to play a big role. The chair on which you are sitting, your automobile, your refrigerator, your dreams, everything will be connected to the net or the cloud. Right? So this will be again different type of sensor network what we find and all these things will generate a lot of data, that is where now people are talking about big data, data analytics, data science, and generating data is no use, you should get say, some knowledge from that, some conclusions, learning algorithms, classification algorithms are playing a role. That's where we talk about all neural network, SVM, you find paper that, okay? And these are computer intensive, high performance computing will have a role. So, computing, electronics, if you see the challenges are of diverse nature, okay? So, uh, in that direction, I think the conference has put two important areas together, wireless technology, mobility, 4G, 5G, future, what is happening, so that people get an exposure to this, integrating all this thing. Other than that, one of the important components I see in the, in the conference, the students have been providing a wonderful support to us. We are grateful to them as volunteers, faculty, students, and uh, that is something very important. Because as you grow up in life, you do less science, do more of management, more of man management, people management, personal management. So managing events like this gives you an experience. What would happen worst? What is the disaster? What is the catastrophe? How do you predict that? Okay, when if, uh, the vehicle may not report, when there may not be power, how do you handle that in real time, real time situation? Okay. And when you do this thing, it is really important. You get to, get to know a lot. And you students, when you grow up in life, at some stage when you become faculty or technology leaders, you will be expected to organize events like this. And no textbook gives how to do that thing. No algorithm can tell you how to do that. Web doesn't tell how to do that. Only by interacting with your professor, with your colleagues, you understand from a, you observe from a distance and see how they do it, and you codify that knowledge. So that's a good experience. And uh, to, to, tomorrow, when you go to industry, that is what you will have to do. You will have to gel in a group of people, do something, get something done. Industry wants more of that. So events like that indirectly train you in something else, in organized events and all that. Thing. So I don't want to go. Or deep into any of the technology aspect, this is not the forum and time. So as a general chair, I would like to profusely thank the entire team, what I said, okay. I have been sitting pretty distantly in Bangalore, enjoying come once in a while here. The um, EPIC management has been extremely hospitable and uh, kind enough to the entire uh, team. So I would like to place a record of a sincere thanks to them for uh, supporting this event wholeheartedly. The faculty members, students, management, all of them. Without really worrying about many private management, they will say, if I invest, if I do that, what will I get in return? They are not bothered about ROI, return on investments, okay? They are uh, every time sort of supporting this thing, this great activity, I am sure will enjoy the next uh, few hours the entire day, the event, you will have exciting events.